Hey, what's going on, Summoners? My name is Nathan Ng, and today we're going to be covering the counter picks for some of the most OP champions on patch 12.16. We'll be offering a breakdown on how to play these matchups, as well as a short and simple itemization guide. While it may take some practice, these picks will have the potential to help you climb by offering answers to the common meta picks. Let's not waste any more time, and let's dive right into the video. Starting us off strong, we've got Swain as an answer to Shen. With skirmish meta being so popular and TP constantly getting nerfed, Shen has become a top tier pick. He's able to show up to important fights while also having a powerful laning phase. That being said, Swain works as a great answer to Shen for a ton of different reasons. During laning, Swain can bully Shen and keep him low HP so that ulting into a fight would be dangerous. Plus with Swain's great wave clear, Shen can lose out on a ton of minions, experience, and plates while he's gone. Make sure to farm your sacks as Swain by landing your E and then your W on Shen constantly. This will make you into an absolute monster later on into the game. Diving into Swain's atomization, you'll be taking Flash and Ghost. You can opt out for Teleport if you want to impact the map more, but you'll lose a lot much needed mobility for it. As for your runes, you'll be taking Conqueror, Presence of Mind, Legend Tenacity, Last Stand, Conditioning, and Revitalize. These runes will really help you get tanky for free while also giving you a nice damage boost later on. Finally, for your items, you'll be grabbing your choice of Leandris or Riftmaker as your Mythic. Leandris is great if your team needs additional AP damage, but if you're just looking to be a tanky frontliner, then just go for Riftmaker instead. Afterwards, you'll be grabbing Sorcerer's Shoes, your choice of Zhonya's for Salt Potential, or Frozen Heart for Tankiness, Brawl Eyes, Demonic Embrace, and Spirit Visage. While meta picks are often great options for climbing, improving your fundamentals is a far better option. At Pro Guides, we offer in-depth videos and guides that teach you the important mechanics. If courses and lessons aren't your thing, then don't worry. We have challenger level coaches that are available 24-7 to help you guys out. So, what are you guys waiting for? Go check us out and join the Pro Guides family. Nonetheless, let's dive into our next pick. Pulling us back into the video, we've got Singed as an answer to Aatrox. Thanks to his great sustain and powerful team fighting, Aatrox can be a bit of a hassle to deal with. His recent spike in popularity has made him a top tier pick, especially with his blind potential. That being said, Singe works wonders against his Darken. His great mobility, strong damage, and overall annoying presence can be hard for Aatrox to handle. Plus, many players underestimate Singe's damage, both early on and in the late game. If you need someone to chase down the enemy ADC while also keeping Aatrox off your backline, then look no further than Singed. Taking a look at your itemization, be sure you grab Ghost and Ignite as your summoner spells. This will give you some kill pressure on Aatrox and have some nice movement speed. As for your runes, make sure you take Conqueror, Triumph, Legend Tenacity, Last Stand, Conditioning, and Unflinching. You'll get a decent bit of damage from these runes, as well as some much needed tenacity and tankiness. Finally, for your items, make sure you build Demonic Embrace, Swiftness Boots, Rail Eyes, Rift Maker, and your choice of Deadmaster from Mobility, or Thormail for an anti-heal, and finish off with Force of Nature. Bringing us into the jungle role, we've got none other than Volibear as a great answer to Rek'Sai. While Rek'Sai may dominate the early game with her amazing gank paths and high damage, Volibear can be enough to match her. If these two ever run into each other in the jungle, Volibear can take the fight and come out on top. Not to mention that Volley outscales Rek'Sai while also offering amazing dive potential. Just make sure you start on the same side as her so you can look to counter gank and contest Scuttle. Moving on to Volibear's itemization, you'll be taking Flash and Smite as your summoner spells. For your Smite of choice, we've decided on Hail Blade thanks to its slow effects and additional damage. Taking a look at your runes, you'll be taking Press the Attack, Triumph, Legend Tenacity, Last Stand, Celerity, and Water Walking. Don't be afraid to take early fights. PTA's damage boost does wonders. Finally, for your items, you'll be building Turbo Cam Tank, Lucidity Boots, Dead Man's Plate, Force of Nature, Zhonya's, and Gargoyles. If you're ahead, feel free to grab Zhonya's earlier for the nice damage boost. Moving on to our next jungler, we've got Talia as an answer to Fiddle 6. With his countless buffs, Fiddle 6 has quickly climbed the ranks and has become the best jungler in the game. He offers amazing scaling, healthy clairs, and a simple kit to work with. Talia is able to deal with Fiddle by outpressuring him early on with the lead that she gains. She can also invade his jungle and bully him with ease. Fiddle 6 has to constantly be wary that Talia isn't around or he'll get bursted. Plus, with Talia taking all of his farm, it can be hard for him to hit his much needed power spikes. Diving into Talia's itemization, be sure to take Flash of Smite as your summoner spells. Similar to Volley, you benefit greatly from Hailblade slowing and damaging Smite. As for your runes, you'll be taking Dark Harvest, Cheap Shop, Eyeball Collection, Treasure Hunter, Magical Footwear, and Cosmic Insight. These runes will give you some bonus mobility as well as some snowball potential. Finally, be sure to build Ludens, Sorcerer's Shoes, Shadow Flame, Zhonya's, Rabadon's, and finish off with the Void Staff. If the enemy is building MR, you can grab Void before Rabadon's instead. Let's take a quick break from these champions and move on to our favorite pro guide tradition. Today, we want to ask you all, what is your favorite unique counter to a champion? 
Personally, I think Heimerdinger is a hilarious counter to Amumu and Nautilus. Regardless of what your answer may be, let us know in the comment section below. Nonetheless, let's get back into the video and dive into our next few champions. Pulling us back into the video and into the mid lane, we've got Seraphine as an answer to Zillion. Zillion offers his team amazing wave cryo, great utility, and an ultimate that can swing games. With that in mind, Seraphine does the exact same thing, but she team fights better and offers far more AoE damage. With her Q, she can clear waves within seconds while also poking out Zillion with her passive. Not to mention that she offers amazing utility with her W, E, and ultimate. Overall, if you want a battle of utility mages mid, Seraphine is sure to come out on top versus Zillion. Moving on to her itemization, make sure to take Flash and Teleport as your summoner spells. You're mostly playing for wave prio and team fights, so Teleport will help you get there on time. As for your runes, you'll be taking Summon Airy, Mana Flow Band, Transcendence, Gathering Storm, Biscuit Delivery, and Cosmic Insight. This will give you great damage while also letting you scale. For your actual items, you'll be building Leandris, Lucidity Boots, Rallies, Rabadons, Zhanyas, and Archangel Staff. You can swap Rabadons for Chemtech Putrefire if your team really needs that anti-heal. Don't forget to pick up a Terra as soon as possible too, so you can stack it. Moving on to our next mid lane matchup, we've got Silas as an answer to Swain. Ever since his rework, Swain has offered amazing drain tanking power and is a monster in the late game to deal with. While his laning is fairly weak, he can make up for it with his borderline unlimited ultimate. Silas takes advantage of this weak laning phase and makes sure to punish Swain as much as possible. Plus, Silas is able to steal Swain's ultimate and arguably use it better than he can. If you're tired of this demonic bird dominating your games, then make sure you pick up Silas. Diving into his itemization, you'll be taking Flash and Ignite as your summoner spells. While you can take Teleport for better map presence, it's best to use Ignite so you can go ahead and gain a lead and snowball mid lane. Taking a look at your runes, take Conqueror, Presence of Mind, Legend Tenacity, Last Stand, Second Wind, and Unflinching. This will improve your sustain and damage during longer fights while also giving you some tenacity. Finally, for your items, you'll be rushing Lucidity Boots and then building Everfrost, Zhanyas, Cosmic Drive, Rabadons, and to finish off with either Void Staff for damage or Spirit Visage for survivability. Pulling us into the ADC role, we've got Samira as an answer to Draven. With his increased damage, Draven has been dominating games. His powerful early game and amazing scaling makes him a force to be reckoned with. Thanks to the skirmish meta, a lot of his traditional counters aren't doing so hot and he's driving from the bonus kills. Samara, on the other hand, is a perfect solution. She is able to outdamage him throughout mid and late game with her full combo and also have a slightly better skirmish. Not to mention that with her W, Draven drops his axes when he attacks her. While it may take some practice at first, Samara is sure to dominate Draven. Moving on to her itemization, you'll be taking Flash and your choice of Exhaust or Cleanse. Exhaust is fairly common in this matchup, that way you can solve Draven's damage. That being said, if you're confident in your ability to cleanse the enemy's exhaust, then take Cleanse instead so your damage itself isn't ruined. As for your runes, you'll be taking Conqueror, Triumph, Legend Bloodline, Last Stand, Taste of Blood, and Treasure Hunter. This will give you a nice bit of damage, survivability, and a ton of snowball potential. Finally, for your items, you'll be building Shield Bow, Play to Steel Caps, Collector, Infinity Edge, Lord Dominic's Regards, and then finish off with either Death Stance or Guardian Angel. Moving on to our next pick, we've got Twitch as an answer to Sivir. Since her rework, Sivir has held her spot as one of the top ADCs in the game. She offers safe laning, amazing scaling, and some of the best team fighting out there. That being said, Twitch looks to punish hyper carries like Sivir as much as possible. With a small lead, Twitch is able to zone off Sivir with his invisibility because if she ever shows up to lane alone, he'll be able to take her out. Plus, with his ultimate and Q, he can easily flank her during teamfights and quickly kill her. For his itemization, you'll be taking Flash and Exhaust as your summoner spells. For your runes, you'll be taking Lethal Tempo, Triumph, Legend Bloodline, Cut Down, Sudden Impact, and Treasure Hunter. If you're playing in a lane where you can constantly kill Sivir, feel free to take PTA instead. As for your actual items, you'll be rushing Blade of the Ruined King, then pick up Berserker's Greaves, Kraken Slayer, Ruinance Hurricane, Infinity Edge, and Lord Dominic's Regards. Before we continue on to the end of the video, if you want to join an amazing community of people like you that loves lists, talk pieces, and other things like this, check out our Discord using the link found in our description. So, what are you waiting for? Join! Anyway, let's get back into the video and take a look at our final few champions. Pulling us into the support section, we've got Bard as an amazing answer to Renata. Renata has dominated the support role for patches now, and thanks to her extremely powerful and overloaded kit, she offers some of the best anti-engage in the game. She also has a mini zillion ultimate as one of her basic abilities. Bard is able to deal with her by dominating the laning phase and then roaming around the map. Renata isn't able to follow these roams, and she can't deal with Bard in lane, so she's eventually out pressured and out impacted. Overall, if you're looking to finally pick up a champion that punishes Renata players, make sure that you pick up Bard. For Bard's itemization, make sure you take Flash and Ignite as your summoner spells. 
As for your runes, there are different rune pages for Bard depending on your playstyle, but the most general page is Guardian, Font of Life, Conditioning, Unflinching, Zombie Ward, and Relentless Hunter. This page will give you a nice mix of roaming tools, utility, tankiness, and peel. Finally, your items will consist of your fully stacked Spell Thieves, Swiftness Boots, Locket, Dead Man's, Redemption, and a Watchful Ward Zone. Last but certainly not least, we've got Vel'Koz as an answer to Janna. Similar to Renata, Janna has been on the top of the list. This is thanks to her superior peel abilities and her overall utility. While Vel'Koz may not offer the same level of support, he does punish her laning phase immensely and shreds through her shielding with ease. Sure, he may not be a traditional enchanter or engaged tank, but Vel'Koz can easily 1v2 the lane with his damage. Overall, if you're looking to punish Janna and carry the lane, then look no further than Vel'Koz. Moving on to Vel'Koz's itemization, you'll be taking Flash with your choice of heal or exhaust as your summoner spells. This choice really depends on if your ADC takes heal or exhaust, so you'll take the one that they don't. Ignite is wasted because you should never be in range to use it aggressively. For your runes, you'll be taking Comet, Manaflow Band, Transcendence, Scorch, Cheap Shot, and Ultimate Hunter. This will make your poke in lane extremely powerful. Finally, you're going to be building Ludens, Sorcerer's Shoes, Xhanias, Morello Namacon, and finish off with the Rabidons. Oh yeah, and don't forget your Spell Thieves. And that sums up our video for today. Don't forget to join our ProGuides family at ProGuides.com. We offer exclusive giveaways and classes that you won't catch anywhere else, so stay tuned and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you guys back in the next video, and don't forget, stay safe, stay healthy, and have a wonderful day. Peace.